Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. This past week I was in Minnesota. Is that how you say it up there? So high up in Minnesota, we was almost in Canada. Chasing whitetails on public land. Me and a few of my buddies, we were all toting 50 cal CVA Optimus in the true timber pattern. Uh, yeah. And I took my cameras like I always do. This is the footage that I took of that hunt. I recorded it like vlog style. I didn't bring all the massive big cameras with camera crew and all that. Uh, but it was surprisingly warm. Up there in Minnesota this time of year. It's the first week of December. Muzzle loader up in Minnesota. Check it out. So you guys saw that clear cut we were sitting on this morning. Lots of deer sign. That's a good sign. And then after our sit, two of my buddies jumped up a deer. Couldn't see if it had antlers or not. Our tags are for antler deer only, so we can't take those. But uh, nobody got a, a crack on that deer. They said they saw it at like 20, 30 yards. It took off. But uh, the woods here are so thick. That's not really good representation, but on the other side of this, you can see how thick it is where you can't even see three, four yards. So what we're doing now, I'm at the end of this draw. A couple of my buddies are lined up through here and we got some other guys. Uh, see if they can tromp through some of that thick stuff and bump up some more deer coming out through here in this clear. But I'm going to sit tight and see if we can see some deers. Alright, so nothing at that last sit. Didn't see or hear a thing. But we stopped for lunch. One of my buddies, my buddy Jake, brought some venison brats. Yeah. Venison brats. Brats made out of deer meat. And it was super good. But now we're going to try to flush some more deer out of this thick stuff. This patch right here, you can see how thick it is road right here and then a road that runs this way and we're gonna see if we can flush them out on the road I'm trying to show you this muzzle loader that's on my back there it is if I see one I'm gonna tap it with the muzzle loader before I forget to tell you while we were getting ready to do that last drive Uncle Scotty got a roughed grouse super cool they said we could get our grouse license too. I didn't get it, but Uncle Scotty did, and he got him a roughed grouse. Pretty cool bird. Let me pop up a picture right here of that bird. I've never seen anything like it, but pretty cool bird. All right, so uh, me and my buddy hunted a pretty big clear cut this morning. Didn't see anything. Saw some birds. And then uh, we moved up to this other cut and I'm sitting up kind of on a ridge. Let me show you what I'm looking at. But all kind of deer tracks and deer poop all through here. I even found a rub over here. But let's see if we can find some deer. And uh some of our other buddies are meeting up with us here in a little bit too so Let's see what we can do we just spotted two grouse so we're gonna try to flush them up and get them Yeah, they're 
All right, so we tried to flush those grouse up. We did, but they spooked before we got close to them. Now we're sitting here making some lunch. Jake made us some chili. I think it's venison chili, and we're sitting here cooking it on the tailgate. I guess just heating it up, really. Cold. Cold and windy in Minnesota. Now we're looking for some more deers. Pretty thick in this section. This has been cut, I don't know, a few years ago. You can see how tall the pines are, but lots of deer sign all through here. All right, so we've been covering a lot of ground today. We sat this morning on some clear cuts. Then we covered a bunch of ground on foot, just trying to still hunt and hopefully come across some bucks in this thick stuff but there's literally deer poop everywhere like you can't take 10 20 steps without just finding piles of deer poop so there's a thousand percent a lot of deer here but uh, so far with uh six of us looking for them We've only seen a glimpse of a deer once. One of my buddies saw a glimpse of a deer running through some thick stuff. But uh, I'm gonna set this clear cut until dark. And we've all kind of picked a spot and spread out quite a ways. And uh, I'm gonna be quiet and see what happens. Let me show you what I'm looking at. Oh, I sat this clear cut earlier this morning and there's literally deer poop and deer tracks everywhere in here but if i had to guess the deer will probably be coming out of the thicket behind me at dark but literally this whole field is full of deer poop everywhere so they're definitely coming through here just a little bit over there i found some poop that was fresher than 24 hours so the deer definitely are hitting this spot it's just a matter of are they going to come out of the thick stuff in the daylight while we can pop them we're going to sit here till dark come out to your left you want the gun uh shoulder yeah up here in Minnesota and we're walking on the lake never seen a frozen lake before look at that we're up here trying to catch a deer look out over your left shoulder and that's wolf tracks And we're doing quick photo shoots while we're out here. We got all our gear on. There's a pretty good sign one right there. All right, so quick video. Like I said, I tried to film it like vlog style. Not be too overly burdened by taking out all the huge cameras, but still giving you guys a look into what we were doing out there. as public land in Minnesota after Waito. We, we were out there, uh, we didn't take a whole week, but we were out there hunting hard for three and a half days, I think. Uh, and that's what happened. One of my buddies saw a glimpse of a one deer for a split second. But here's the thing, guys. Um, I don't claim to be some type of biologist or anything like that. I'm just telling you the facts of what we saw when we were out there. All the roads had snow on them where it had snowed an inch or something, maybe a couple days or a week before. Every single road through that public land covered in wolf tracks. I'm not talking about, oh, there was one wolf coming through like you saw on the ice there. There was wolf tracks on top of wolf tracks on top of wolf tracks. From small ones all the way up to, I'm talking big ones like that. Big wolves. Uh, 
in the back of your mind, almost kind of eerie. Like, you know, there's wolves probably pretty close to you. Not like, ah, oh, there was a random wolf that came through here. There's wolf tracks everywhere. Like I said in the footage there, there was deer sign in most of the clear cuts we went to. Actually, probably all of them. Where they had logged, you know, a year to five years ago. And it's clear enough for you to actually have some visibility. Um, deer sign everywhere. But all we could figure was, and some of it fresh, some of the deer tracks fresh. All we could figure was, is that the whitetail were just heading for the hills and sticking to some super thick stuff and only coming out at night. In theory, maybe if the deer come out in those clear cuts at night, they're able to see and hear the wolves better. Um, and obviously we can't hunt the deer at night. That's against the regulations everywhere for when it comes to whitetail. Uh, but we, we, we were out there uh, shooting light to shooting light every single day we were out there. I didn't see a single deer. Uh, we saw tracks, deer poop everywhere. We even saw moose poop out there and moose tracks. Didn't see the moose either. Uh, but talking to the locals, uh, we talked to several locals and they said, yep, the deer hunting has been absolute trash for two years. This one person we talked to said, yep, you know, hunted here their whole life. The past two years, they didn't even get a deer. Um, and their sentiment was they hate the wolves and the wolves have destroyed the whitetail hunting in northern Minnesota. Uh, if you're a Minnesotan, is that what you say it? Comment down below and give me your opinion. Uh, but the locals there, the their minds was the the deer hunting is trash. It used to be awesome. Um, and the wolves 100% are the problem. And they're taking all the deer. Uh, whether they're eating the deer or just chasing them out of there. Or the worst, there was deer sign, you know. Pretty much everywhere in the in the clear cuts. So there are deer there. Uh, but they're uh, apparently just coming out at night or just, I don't know. Like I said, we we were out there hunting hard, putting our time in um, with six dudes spreading out, covering a lot of ground. We did clear cuts, sits in the at daylight and at dusk, hoping they would come out and we'd catch a glimpse of one. Um, and then we we pushed the thick stuff real hard. I even got lost in the woods and <laughs> when we were doing some of that and had to call some of my buddies. Luckily, we had cell reception. I had to call my buddy and be like, Hey, uh, make some noise, and I was quite a ways off the path uh, where I had to really focus on hearing them. Uh, anyways, uh, appreciate y'all watching. We struck out in Minnesota, but it was still an awesome time getting to hunt in some different territory. Never been to Minnesota before. I scratched it off my hunter list, or my state list. Uh, but good time with buddies uh, chasing deer. We did get uh, that one grouse and ate it and cooked it, and it was fantastic. Uh, but yeah, appreciate y'all watching. Stay tuned. We got tons of footage and a whole lot more deer catching on the way. Appreciate y'all. Make sure you're subscribed. Comment down below if you have any experience with wolves. Always uh, wanting to learn more from you. Uh, but yeah, appreciate you watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Hoo-doo!